everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and let's continue on with Microsoft Excel and I'm going to show you how to add things up both the long way using the sum function and the short way, the quick and easy way of using the auto sum feature. So we've got a sample budget up and I'm going to assume that I'm going to make a savings plan for the rest of the year, October, November and December. I've got a column for savings here and what I'm going to put in there is the amount of money I'm putting into my savings account each month, at the end of each month. So these are completely fake numbers. In no way am I saving this much money. But let's say for October, I put in $400. For November, I'm going to put in $300. And for December, because of Christmas, I am only putting in $50. And then what I want to do is I want to have the total put into this cell right here which is next to the end of year account label right there in that cell. Okay. So a couple ways we could do it. I could do it the long way and type in equals sum. So the equals symbol makes this a formula. Sum means I'm going to add up a bunch of stuff. And then I'm going to put in the left parentheses. And then all I need to do is select a bunch of cells to add together. So I can simply hold down the left mouse button up here for the October savings. I'm going to scroll down to December savings. Then I'm going to let go and you can see it fills in C4 colon C6. So it's going to add up C4, it's going to add up C5, and it's going to go to C6. I'm going to close out the formula by using the right parentheses or right bracket. Hit enter and you can see it adds everything up to 750. Now what I probably want to do is select these numbers here and I'm just going to go to this format thing and say dollar sign format just to make it dollar signs. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Let me just copy this information over to another column. So for October, 400, 350. So let's say I want to do the total again in this spot right here, cell D7. Pretty e easy way of doing it. I could simply select everything and leave an extra space at the end. So this is where I want my total to be. And then simply go up here and click on auto sum. All right, click on auto sum and you can see that 750, the same number is popped into there. And it's a much easier and quicker way of doing it. All right, so you're probably thinking, okay, well, that works great if I'm in a column. What about going across? So you're going across in a row. Well, that works similarly. We can go over here. And let's say I have the months in a row. So let's say we do October right there, November, and December, right? And then I'll put 400, 350, and this is where I want my end of year. Okay, so instead of adding down, I want to add across. Pretty easy, I could select all three, then go one extra, so this is where I want my total to be, and then I click on auto sum, and I have the same number. I could have also done the long way, so 400, 350, and then what I could do is type in equals sum, left parentheses, select my three columns that I want to have added up and then close it out by doing the right parentheses. Hit enter and I have the same total. So it works the same way whether you go in a column, so from top down, or if you go from left to right, if you want to do it in a row, the auto sum and the manual way of typing in things works exactly the same. Thanks for watching.